thank you so much for joining us again on our YouTube channel. The response has been overwhelming. Thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing and sharing. Today we've got a very special treat for you. Today we've got something that uh, you've all been requesting and here it is. So this vehicle is quite a special car. This was once owned by Smoke, built and owned by Smokey Nagata in Japan. Um, it's a 2.8 litre stroker with a sequential gearbox. It's got uh, very, very beautiful parts on it and it's a uh, real time capsule is into what Japanese engineering used to be back in the day. And let's uh, have a look at the front of the car and look what makes this uh, special compared to other R34 GTRs. We start off with these beautiful Volk racing wheels. These are LE37s, 19 inch, absolutely works of art. Big brake kit as uh, was fitted back in the 90s. We've got overriders on the bumpers. We've got an aftermarket front bumper with carbon fiber canards, lower and upper front diffuser. And let's look underneath the bonnet of this uh, beautiful girl. Carbon fiber bonnet, very light. And here we have a Competizione R RB28 engine with a large turbo. It's a Garrett GT4202 turbo. So it's quite a big guy uh, for a road car. Uh, it's got beautiful carbon fiber bits all over. Garage Defend front cooling panel, top secret. Uh, catch can, G-Ready inlet manifold. It's got right now a twin power HKS uh, coil system, which is aged. We'll get to that next. It's got a Saad racing. Um... <laughs> it's got a Saad racing injector rail uh, and fuel pressure regulator. It's got custom piping. It runs two radiators. It's got a Koyo uh, radiator here, and it's got another one inside the bumper. It's got an oil cooler in front in, in this fender over here. And uh, let's go have a look inside. Oh, welcome to the office. What a nice tight space it is. Beautiful. You may be wondering what this odd looking gear lever is. Well, this car is fitted with a sequential gearbox. Here we've got a clip-off steering wheel, we've got an all array of gauges, here we've got the uh, air-fuel ratio gauge, here we've got the display for the gearbox, for the sequential gearbox, here we have a HKS EVC uh, boost controller uh, which has been disconnected but is still in the car. Uh, the car is fitted with a roll cage which has been uh, rubber coated for safety for the road. Um, Let's look at the back of the car. So here we have aftermarket uh, side, rear side skirt pieces, fender overline overriders. We've got a big brake kit once again at the back. We've got a carbon fiber diffuser underneath with these carbon uh, Kevlar canards on the sides. And oh yes, more carbon fiber, carbon fiber rear boot. Down here we've got a massive trust exhaust and more carbon fiber bits. Look how beautifully made this is. So we don't just uh, work on GTRs here at uh, the Machine Man. We work on all array of Skylines. And did you know the difference? Well, let me show you. Here we have an R34 GTT versus an R34 GTR. And let me show you the unique but subtle differences of the two different cars so that you know what they look like when they are hitting the streets. So here we have a few subtle differences. The front bumper, the front headlights and the front uh, bonnet are slightly longer. Smaller headlights and uh, let's have a look at uh, the side of the car here. So although they might look uh, the same from the outset, they are quite a lot different. The body is a lot narrower on a GTST or a GTT. You do get obviously two wheel drive and four wheel drive variants of this. It came with a slightly different engine, an RB25. Um, and the other difference is the front fenders. 
So you'll look, the car is a lot narrower. Over, over and above that, the suspension is different as well. Different uh, subframes, different uh, link and trail arms. They're all very similar, but not the same. There's only one true GTR. Let's carry on there. And I'm sure you guys want to hear what this little puppy sounds like, so let's fire it up. <coughs> So the vehicle is here for us to do some upgrades. It is 23 years old, 24 years old. And uh, you know, some of the parts wear out and uh, we're gonna show you today what it takes to repair and uh, replace some old parts on old GTRs. So what are we doing? What we are doing is we're gonna be replacing the coils. This car has got a misfire as you uh, at high RPM and high boost. So the problem is the aged wiring and the problem is also the uh, old coils. So what we're going to do is we're going to be replacing them with a PRP coil trigger coil and uh, wiring harness kit and uh, new R35 upgrade ignition coils. Um, a lot of people don't realize but uh, electrical systems and uh, units wear out over time over extended use. So uh, let's dive into it and show you how to upgrade and change your coils on a RB series engine and uh, let's go. So while the, uh, this is now done, you did see us assembling, we had to remove the old uh, bottom pieces, the stalks of the coils that were supplied as genuine because these are R35 coils and we're fitting them into R34 or RB26. So we remove the old bottoms and fit these PRP uh, bottom legs and uh, now we're going to show you how to fit the rest. Now we've just put the harness on for these coils. These R35 coils are ready to go in. So this here we're removing. This is the old uh, ignition amplifier and wiring. Uh, we don't know where the problem is, whether it's here, the wiring or into the coils. So we're just going to replace the whole lot with obviously the much newer technology R35 coils which have got a lot more uh, oomph to them. So here we've got the new R35 coils with their stalks and their billet. Uh, I chose gold for this car, you can see the reason why. Billet uh, bracket instead of the old uh, standard. These were upgraded from the original but you can see at some stage one of the coils has been replaced and this is the old wiring harness. This just becomes aged after a while. So let's put in this new puppy and see if this uh, be still misfires. Eh? Sorrel is busy uh, changing the wiring back to standard. Uh, back in the day when they were interfacing those old HKS units into the, uh, the wiring of the vehicle, they uh, changed one of the wires, so we're just going back to standard. This coil kit is a direct bolt-on. There's no uh, change in wiring needed. You just have to choose the correct loom when ordering these parts. But uh, we know exactly what we need to order for these different model motors. So get us up here at Machining Man if you uh, want this goodness in your GTR. Okay, so now what you're gonna do before we uh, assemble the rest of the car, 
is start it up. What we did off camera is turn, uh, change the dwell timing in the ECU, in the Haltech ECU, and uh, let's see if it fires up on all six cylinders. Starts easier. Amazing how it responds so much better with the newer coils. So this goes to show you, very, very worthwhile uh, upgrade on your uh, any RB platform. They're all getting old now. This is the newer one, R34. R33s and 2s most certainly is a no-brainer. Upgrade all the way. Be like a donut, baby. All up and running again. So, thanks for joining us. Thanks. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, we're going to be doing further episodes on uh, more builds that we've got here in the shop. They're not going to be as uh, do-it-yourself and DIY, more managerial stuff. But uh, let us know what you want to see in the comments. Ciao.